Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Someone Stole My Lunch. Which is a game where a hot man has stolen your hot food. And that's unforgivable. The door opens with a jingle as I walk in. This must be management's doing again. They said it's an improved morale when we're too busy to head outside. But what type of cafe only has one coffee machine? They didn't even provide us with any coffee filters. The filters were the friends we made along the way. And I mean literally the friends we made along the way, like shove them in that coffee machine. I'm tempted to tip over the nearby trash can, but decide against it, because that might spill out my soul. The janitors are on the same sinking boat as us. My only saving grace is lunchtime. And today is special. Any other day I would have gone out into the big city and treated myself to the local bistro. However, a new project sprung up and I've been forced to stay inside during lunch. My weary co-workers also have to live this type of life, suffering from mal malnutrition and gastritis. But why should I suffer alongside them? What awaits me behind these fridge doors is my masterpiece, my katsudon. That does look good. The night before, I flattened the plumpest pork loin, breaded it in the crispiest panko, and deep fried it in the finest oils and spices from my pantry. Double fried to perfection, then smothered in beaten eggs, sweet onions, and homemade tonkatsu sauce. All on top a steaming bowl of fluffy rice. Saliva dribbles down as I imagine my fork piercing through the skin to reveal its soft white meat inside. It's unfortunate I could need it fresh off the stove, but at least the microwave here is more competent than the company's infrastructure. Oh yeah, if you haven't guessed by the way, the uh, this game takes place at a workplace. With a happy hum, I walk over to open the fridge. The shelves are empty around this time, so I easily spot my bowl. Despite the bowl's innocent pink coloring, Pinku, it's from my prestigious lunchbox brand. My food deserves the best, of course. I pick up my kawaii bowl, but I know something is off. Sauce stains the sides of the bowl's lip. Did I spill it on the way to work? Now that I think about it, it's much lighter than it was this morning. Oh no! With pre trepidation, I unclip the lid. My god, it's a horror game. It's gone. My thick cut of fried pork. My egg slurry of dashi and soft onions. My fluffy steamed rice. All gone. Only a light brown puddle and some rice grains remain. It's just the work of a thief. Wait, no. I shouldn't be doubting my co-workers. Maybe someone took my lunch by mistake. No, they took it. How do, you, how do you take that one as a mistake, okay? But this morning, I only saw clear Tupperware containers. How could anyone mistake my lunch for theirs? Did someone steal my lunch? Title drop, almost? My stomach gurgles painfully. It tells me that my decision to skip breakfast was a foolish one. And my phone alarm goes off. My 15 minute break is about to end. What should I do about this thief? Oh my god. Options. I like this. I like this little hand thing going on here. Clever. Quit your job. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of everything in this damn company. Something snaps inside me as I run over to the coffee machine. I rip it off the wall and toss it to the ground. Damn you, coffee! The trash can's next. No, not me! With a firm kick, it flips over and empty coffee cups fly out, like my soul. Hey, how you doing? Finally, the stupid little jingle bell. I get off the door hinge, aim it squarely at the employee of the month frame on the wall. Damn you, Sephiroth. My breathing is haggard and my back is covered in sweat. Sedentary office workers can only do so much. I stop to my cubicle and hastily write up my two weeks notice to human resources. Though who can even say I'll be here tomorrow? Once I'm out the front door, I'm never coming back. Employee performance review ending number two, boiling point. Performance reviewed by Kale. Very bad. Not good. Give up? I can only give up. Whoever it is, how would I even find them? Filling a paper cup of stale cold coffee, I go back to my cubicle in defeat. The next day. 
My lunch got stolen again. Damn. You're a lunch beta. I'm suffering from hunger pangs. We're gonna die! But perhaps whoever stole needed more than I did. Oh no! Oh no! I think I know what this is a reference to. They're probably more happy to eat than I am sad to be hungry. But they like that bike too. But my sacrifice, the total number of satisfied workers in the company increased. So, let it be. In Leiden, I continued to make decadent meals and leave them out in the open. Every single one of them was eaten. And I went home hungry. Management rewarded us with coffee filters that week. Maybe, I did make a difference in this company. Ending number one. Acceptance. Very bad. Alright, report to HR. The most rational decision is to report to Human Resources. I take out my phone and speed dial HR. It's important to have your most important contacts ready when you need them. Hello, this is Kale of Human Resources. How may I help you? Hi, Kale, I'd like to report a theft. What was stolen? My heart. I know, I mean my, my food. My lunch. Was it during company hours on company property? Yes and yes. Unfortunately, we cannot compensate your loss. I don't want compensation, Kale. Lettuce. An employee's lunch is their personal property. Yes, but isn't it worrying to have a theft happen on company grounds? We have cases like this very often. The company is not responsible for them. But you stole Kale. Yes, I know, but... If you have anything else to report, please send an email. My lunch break is starting. Kale hangs up before I can say any more. Does it happen often? Then do something about it! Nobody likes Kale. Not even Kale likes Kale. With nothing else I can do, I begrudgingly pour myself a lukewarm cup of coffee and return to work. The next day... Despite yesterday's incident, I still brought my lunch. I can't falter in the face of despair. But I can in the fault of this despair. After all, I made mapo tofu. How did I make it again? Spicy? Rat? Hmm. Rat poison! Oh yes, how could I forget? I was trying to trap a rat. I take out my bowl and sprinkle a bit of grey powder on the surface. Snapping the lid back on, I tuck my pink bowl in the back of the fridge. I don't think this is legal! Soon that thieving rat will get his just desserts. Yes, yes. I exit the break room with a cold smile. It'll be all according to plan, so said Light Yagami. Right after I finished my work for the day, a guard that apprehended me at my cubicle. There was a hidden security camera. I went to jail. Anime jail. A week has passed since I started my new life in my cell. Because of the damning video evidence of my actions, I was judged with first degree murder. Sitting on my low quality spring bed, my face sinks into my palms. It's about to be lunchtime. The guard banks in the barn and lets me out. I scare out with my famished stomach, reaching out for my meager serving of dry hard bread and bland watery soup. Unfortunately, I'm too late. My stomach slaps my hand and takes my share from my plate. We like suck at protecting our food source. We shouldn't be like we shouldn't be like I don't know how we got here to this point in life. My lunch has been stolen again. I return to my cell and sit in hunger. Inmate, that was some good news. Yes? The victim you poisoned survived. Damn. What victim? The food thief? Don't say any more, inmate. You're walking on eggshells. Of course, of course. I hold my head towards the somber moonlight, contemplating a life not behind bars. I have learned my lesson. Don't try to poison your coworker. Or if you do, be more secretive about it. Ending number four. A recipe, recipe for disaster. <laughs> Very bad. Wax? With the help of many YouTube videos, no relation to another website, I made a wax replica of Mapo Tofu. The white tofu cubes are made from wet styrofoam. The red sauce is from acrylic and watercolor. You're very talented, aren't you? I mix roasted ground peppercorns into the translucent red wax poured into my bowl. It helps hide the smell. With a glaze of resin and some patience, the fake wax mapo tofu was completed. I snicker, imagining the perpetrator tipping the scoop into the mold, 
only for their plastic spoon to rebound back in their face. I could die to a spoon. In exchange, I'll starve. I was still waiting for my mall to dry this morning, so I had no time to make myself something to eat. Five hours later. Five hours later. Lunch quickly arrives and I return to retrieve my bowl from the fridge. I couldn't keep my excitement down. Despite knowing that it's fake food, seeing an untouched dish sass They're gonna eat it. We're gonna find out that they ate it. They just ate the wax. Like, you know what? This wax is flavored. This is, um, edible wax. You know, sure, why not? I flick open the lid and... A scoop. <laughs> no. Two scoops were gone from the bowl. Like sliced jelly. This thief is beyond my comprehension. But something sparks inside me. I return to my desk to write my resignation letter. Afterwards, I run to the nearest tech store and purchase some necessities. Do we, like, make... Oh my... No, actually, no. This is better. This is... Your life has improved. Good for you. They're even, they're even using the cliche for use music. Wax food. You wouldn't believe it. Is it fake or real? Oh, I can move it. Okay. I quit my job and became a wax food artist. Yeah, I believe it. Bo? Yep, that's me. I became a wax food artist YouTuber. What can I say? After witnessing that travesty, I knew I had talent in the wax arts. If someone can mistake my creation for real food, then why live a corporal life? It's true. This is a good ending as far as I'm concerned. Ending 3, Raw Talent. You give me that very bad review, okay? I'm rich! I'm selling wax food videos? Say you want peppercorns. Yes, yeah, the spice of my life. I mean, it's required for this. How could I forget the nose-numbing smell of roasted Sichuan pepper? The thick red oil of the bean paste. The firm, bouncy texture of the cubed tofu. With an internal heat so good it transcends the taste buds. Mapo tofu. Oh, this thing is still up here. Yeah. Eating plain rice is great, but it can't be the spicy fragrance of chili oil and peppercorns. But this one is different. I expect up the heat. Mm, nice. Adding twice the amount of ground peppercorn and chili. A spice too powerful for the mortal tongue. Right before I kiss my baby goodbye, I sprinkle on some more pepper. If anyone dares open my bowl, a red powdery explosion awaits them. Five hours later. Lunchtime arrives and I rush to the bake room. I'll be honest, my parents actually did do that to my food once. When I, sometimes my food was stolen when I was like a kid. They spiked my candy with, like, really spicy peppers. Perhaps the day will be different. I take out my bowl. The lightness of the silicone bowl is foreboding. It's empty, like my soul. But how? Also, my soul is delicious. Why? Who is this food-crazed glutton? Wait. If someone ate my super spicy Sichuan Mapo Tofu, then their lips should be bright red right now. With the remaining minutes of my break, I looked far and wide for the mysterious red lip caper. But to no avail, my pepper kiss burglar was nowhere to be found. I'm still- I still think it's Kale. Because Kale's name keeps appearing. There are too many employees in this company. And Kale has the interest of like, Oh no, don't worry about that stolen food that I took from you. Wearing lipstick. I gave up finding those hot lips and went home. Hmm. Hot lips, huh? Luckily, the stench of peppers clung to my suit, and people avoid me on the subway during rush hour. Nice. The next day. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Or you should become a wax artist. On my way home, I caught a supermarket sale. That's why I was compelled to make fish head curry for lunch. Nice! A big steamed fish head, simmered in thick milky curry sauce. Sliced tomatoes, okra, and eggplants float around. Why do you keep making good food, though? Like, it's gonna get eaten. You're going too hard. Succulent, bou bouncy fish cheek and a big sticky eye, dredged in tangy curry sauce. A vibrant, comfy dish to ease the stress of this weary week. But, what's the vibe until my break? That thief is still out on the loose, ready to pounce. I need to protect my meal. This is my last stand, my last course. Of action, pun. Which I do. 
So two of these are going to lead to a bad ending. One's going to lead to a good ending. Mass email? What's this going to do? I need to confront my problems head on. In a civil manner. If HR won't help me, who can? I'm my own best ally. My plans? I need to direct my complaints where they can be heard loud and clear. Let's write an email. It'll be a compelling and persuasive essay about the wrongs I've faced this week. Using the hamburger method they taught me in high school. Hamburger method? Greetings? Hope to someone. Do I have to hit something here? Oh, here we go. Hope to address this. Your. I wish. If I. The person who keeps stealing my lunch. You're a waste of a human being. I wish a pigeon shits in your fancy new suit. If I ever meet you, I'm going to blank, 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 make you watch anime, blank, 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 second one punch man season, blank, 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 playing a modern Bioware game, blank. Well, that went well. I hit send and wait a response. If the perp felt any guilt, they would reply. Right. Or I'm just gonna get fired. My phone buzzes on my desk. It's my manager. Hello, Jill. Is something the matter? You're fired. Why? Was it necessary to CC everyone? Of course, why wouldn't I? Was emailing our entire board of directors necessary? It caused our stocks to drop by 5%. How are you going to compensate for that? I thought the company doesn't compensate for losses. So, did you guys hear from the food thief yet? She ends the call. I know I've been blocked and my work email has been deleted. You think you can fire me without my severance pay, Gelato? I ripped the PC tower from my work desk and ran out the building. If the company won't compensate me, then this shall be my compensation. An eye for an eye. Fair. Okay. Got a free computer. Lunch a cubicle. I should keep my lunch with me. The closer, the better. Seeing comfortably in my swivel chair, I type away on my Excel sheets. My pink bowl keeps me company so my nerves are relaxed. Nearby, some workers are gabbing away. So how's your tap and report to my lawn? Never mind that! Did you see what's coming employee of the month again? Oh. A new hire! That French dude! French from abroad? Who knows? But he's been snagging Employee of the Month ever since he started last year! I've been trying for this month, but I lost! Man, give up, you can't beat him. You went on vacation to play the new Elf Ring last week, remember? Oh, you're right! They finally finish talking and leave the area. I can finally eat in peace. Just take my keyboard away and replace it with my bowl I flip open the lid. Oh god, if it was, if it was gone, I would be like, Dan, that coworker, that coworker's got some talent. An explosion of spice enters my nostrils. What's that smell? Someone's eating the cubbies again! It'll be like that sometimes. We synthesize with each other silently. It's the first time I've been able to eat a meal during lunch. The tangy aroma wakes me up and stirs my stomach. I take out my spoon and dig in. I dig it. That's not my stomach growling anymore. I turn my head and spot an unfamiliar figure passing by. He's a ruggedly handsome man. And he looks quickly like he belongs in Kingdom Hearts. He looks down my bowl, grimacing. You stink. I take that back. He's insufferable. Wait. It doesn't smell too bad. But it's distracting everyone else. Why didn't you put it in the fridge? Before I can even swear back, he walks away. Stinky. Rather than my curry, it smelled like he hadn't left the company in a week. My nose scrunches up, remembering his sour stench. His smell left such an impression that I couldn't even enjoy my long-awaited meal peacefully. That man. That menace. He seems familiar. I can't put my finger on who he reminds me of. Speaking of which, I should spray some air freshener later. Didn't we technically win? Ending 6. Stinky. Fair. Fridge note. 
I shouldn't blow this out of proportion. I'm a working doll after all. From my pocket, I take out my expensive fountain pen that I spurge my bonus on. By happenstance, the company likes to supply us with copy paper in the break room. They think that if we see it, we'll be compelled to continue working during our break. Fat chance. None of my co-workers are that gullible, but the amount of paper does decrease throughout the week. I take advantage of the company's quirks and take a clean paper from the pile. Let's leave a note. To my dear thief of mine... To... I will... Come... Do not touch. I will find you. Compensate me. If the note is done, I skewer of magnets. How do they work? And now we wait. I hope my lunch doesn't get stolen. Oh! Oh! What's this? Oh! Oh! I take the paper and tear the shreds of my teeth. Donald, calm down! My saliva wets the dry paper as it grazes my tongue. Wow, tasty! The next day... It's been four days. I'm in the break room holding today's lunch. This time it'll be different. I will succeed. These thefts will stop. You will survive my lunch. You will be in my stomach today. I swear it on my health insurance, which I don't have. I kiss at a temporary farewell as I walk out the room. A lone figure walks into the break room. Instead of grabbing coffee, he reaches out towards the fridge. It's an unusual time to have lunch, as many employees are currently preoccupied. He reaches past the stacks of clear Tupperware, singling out a bowl. A pinku silicone bowl. He stands by the counter, obscuring his actions with his back. The bowl lid comes off of a click. Huh. This is new. What's new? The figure's shoulders jolt up, but then relax as he turns around. I've caught you, you Kingdom Hearts character. Uh, nothing. Saw there were new, um, coffee filters. Bet management repurposed the copy paper. Right. Who are you? Me. I'm really not that important. Hey, everyone. Rever, why don't we start with you, buddy? Bo. I smile at him as he turns away, ignoring me. Like, Bo isn't like B O? We just stand there for a few minutes. How you doing? Don't you have work? How's that coffee? Why would I drink this place's coffee? Don't tell me. You drink it. That slimy brown water. It's not that bad. It sucks. You sound like you hate yourself. Hmm. You're giving me one of those looks. There's gonna be people in the comments that are gonna be like... They're gonna comment a certain way when they see that look. I guarantee it. If you know what I mean. Three days have starved because of you. Three days. Naturally. What did you do these past few days? What else would I be doing? It's a work week. You come to the break room often? At this exact time every day. Of course. I have to eat. Eat. Well, yeah. Don't you? Ah, yes. I would if I could. Speaking of which, I'm gonna eat. Mind leaving. Wow, me too. I'm skipping precious work time to have my lunch early. Why don't we eat together? That's an awful idea. That hurts. We're all co-workers, aren't we? I like being alone. Sales provide me with enough problems. And I could plan my defeat with that damn Sora boy. Well, I'm hungry. You'll just have to suffer. Wait outside. I'll be done quick. Is this your private bathroom? It certainly would be nice. Are you hiding something? Selling trade secrets to a rival company. I wish. Doing something illegal. 
You should ask the company that. They've broken several labor laws already. Maybe you're the frisky type. You know what I mean. I point behind him. Stealing, perhaps. I made my move. With a sidestep, I try to maneuver around the man. But he swiftly blocks my view left and right. Why are you stopping me? Feeling guilty? Guilt for what? My right to a meal. His stature and speed outmatch me. I couldn't keep up. Should have done more grinding. My poor office worker's heart can only pump so much oxygen. Huh. Must be nice being tall. You must be eating good. Real good. Of course. I only dine on the finest. Fess up, you thieving rat. Me. A rat. You stole my lunch. I just met you. Well, I caught you red-handed. Hands up and away from the counter. Hmm. Huh. You're talking out of your ass. You're pretty smug, Bo. You really do belong in, like, a square... Well, the Square Enix now. A Square Soft game. You don't have proof it's me. Several thousands of employees come by here every day. This company doesn't care about you or me. Leave. Well, well, Mr. Employee of the Month. Do you think our conversation wasn't recorded? What? Wow, I wonder what terrorists I can leash with these sound bites. How did you know? Do you take me for a fool? The company plasters your face in the walls. The one's right there. It's right over there. All you did was tie up your hair. D did you make this meal? I did. Why do you keep stealing my lunch? <laughs> Why? Your food was the best out of everyone else's I stole. And so I invited Mr. Employee of Month for dinner. On that day, I offered him half of my katsu sandwich. For a price. Don't touch my food. <laughs> Why should I listen? I'll cook for you. Okay. I'm listening. But, you'll need to pay for my groceries. Foo, foo, foo. And we also have to go on a date. Fine. We would continue discussing our contract over dinner. His treat. He chose a fancy French bistro nearby. I chose a time, 5 p.m. tomorrow night. Was this a date? No, it was a lifetime contract. Wait, what? That's marriage. Date night. Under a warm candlelight, Bo sits across from me. His long, silky hair let loose. An open French window frames his figure like a painting. If only he would shut up. Kale is a dick. Glad we agree. He wouldn't free up my schedule, so I had to scavenge for food during my eight-minute breaks. The past hour, I've been listening to Ven about management. His voice is husky. His voice is husky. Hints of a deep, big city tone mixed in with some of that wilderness vibrato. I could listen to him speak all night, but the waiter is waiting. So, are you ordering soon? Right. Food. What do you recommend, Bo? Anything that tastes good. Like... Meat. Do you eat vegetables? If it tastes good. Okay, steak for the meathead. I'll get the ratatouille. And make sure it's made by a rat. But that's all vegetables. Shut up, meathead. In order of, uh, red wine with that, too. At least you know how to pair wine with steak. How cooked would you like your steaks, sir? Are you gonna go for, like, rare? Well, oh no! Well done. Like, are you actually ordering a well-done steak, or are you, like, flirting? Because I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Make it medium rare. Okay, chef. The waiter quickly bolts away. It's just me and him now. So how long have you been stealing? A couple of times. It's only food. Stealing. 
Yeah, yeah, it was me stealing food from the French. Do you need help? Should we split the night's bill? No, I have enough money. Just no work-life balance. So it's all work, no life. I did have a life. Until I got hired by this company. It wasn't like this in my other job. I used to work at an eatery. I always ate fresh. Then why did you stay with us? You seem capable, going by your employee of the month record. I was at my limit, to be frank with you. But one day, I met you. Me? Your lunch. Fudge. I've never felt such warmth from a lunchbox before, even though I've never strayed from the fringe. All I ate were ham cheese sandwiches and cream cheese bagels. Depressing, I know. Ham cheese and cream cheese bagels are good. Why didn't you order your own? Stop being a leech. But, you told me I could leech off you now. For price. My wallet is your wallet. He says it so casually. Next thing I know, he leans over to my side of the table. By the way, you're really good with your hands. What? It looks like he's about to grab my hand, but he avoids me. He picks up a napkin holder from my side and brings it back to him with him. How o- wait, what? How often do you pound meat? The fried pork sandwich from yesterday was delectable. Are you messing with me? No, I'm serious. Can I go to your place after this? For what reason? To inspect your goods. Aren't you going too fast? I want to see what's in your fridge. My fridge. Aren't I paying for your groceries? Right, of course. I take out my phone to distract myself from the shame. Time to play some fake go. Scrolling from my chat apps, I realize something crucial. I forgot. Bo, what's your contact info? Oh, it's... I also haven't gotten your full name. What's Bo short for? Uh, my... Full name. He hesitates, dragging on the silence. I gaze back with big watery eyes. A skill I learned from dealing with higher apps. He finally gives in in size. Don't laugh, okay? My parents... Had a French phase. I'm not actually European. I won't laugh. I'll need it if we're going to work together from now on. There's a knock on our door. The waiter rolls in a trolley holding our meals. As the waiter sets down the meal, Bo finally speaks. Well, it's... Bon Apple Tea? The End Excellent. You look absolutely miserable, my friend. Thank you for playing. Let's do some stuff in the concept art place. Smug. You get like the Kaiba level smug. Credits. Apparently credits bark. Dev notes. I worked on this game about eating, but I ironically had no time to eat. I could only do so much. My dog is a demon. 10 out of 10 would eat again. I did nothing. LOL. Nice dog. So that's it for someone stole my lunch. So, I mean, the game description was pretty accurate. We had a hot lunch and we had a hot date. I'm not sure that date's going to go anywhere, but maybe it will. You know, maybe the, uh, the eating tension will lead to some kind of weird romance. Probably. I mean, looks like we had some chemistry going there. If the chemistry involved food. And food tension. So, uh, this game, the developer of this game, uh, well, visual novel, they have another, uh, game that I have not played yet. I think it's on one of my backlog lists somewhere. If I should just point this one out. Uh, I think that one's a horror game. And I think that one has, like, a more detective... kind of, like, thriller kind of style. This one's just more comedic. Uh, I can't tell you much more other than that, because I try to keep myself a little bit unspoiled for uh, games. 
So I try to be careful with descriptions. But if you're interested, check out that one. You know, just go down to the links down in the description. There'll be a link to this game's page, and you can kind of like hop it from there to the developer's page. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching me play Someone Stole My Lunch. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.